Center, you buy a patch bay for $250. It's got 48 patch points, and you've got to have plugs on both sides. You remember that whole lecture? The ones you get in the music stores, they're a quarter inch. Yeah, that's why there's only 48 of them. Okay, and then I said, you would want to spend 200, the same $250 on a professional bay. It's got 96 patch points. These are eighth inch, that's why there's 96. This is the bay that you spent 254 that's got a 96, it's a professional bay. Gives you your nice labels, gives you the uh, 48 on the top, 48 on the bottom, and this cowling comes off so that you can solder in there, you know, these come off so that you can solder in there, and then these go on so that that's protected. And you can lace, hold this just like that, and what you would do is, let's say we got all these wires going in there. Well, as they come off, you wrap them and lace them and use these holes to secure that. And then this whole great big thing goes down to wherever it's going. So for the same price, what are you buying? You're buying patch bay points. That's what you're buying. So this is the bays I'm trying to talk you into, if you're going to put an analog bay in. And you'll see that these contact points down here, there are five of them. Five points to solder on, and that's what we're going to talk about, what those five points are. By the time you get through with your wires that you've got to have and all that stuff, because you don't want to solder anything, then you're going to pay the price big time. That's why I'm trying to give you this class in, okay, look it, let's get over the fear of the soldering iron. Because if you're going to run a little studio, even if it's for your own fun, you've got to fix the headset cable. You've got to fix the guitar cable that breaks or the microphone cable that, that the plug needs to be resoldered. You've got to be able to do that. So you may as well get that soldering iron out and practice real good when you put your studio together to save about $10,000. Before you go buy any bag, figure all of the pieces of equipment that you have now and that you want to get and just count the inputs and outputs on them all. Do it all, whether you're going to wire it or not, so that you have the option later. And then get, a, get the bays that have that many inputs that will fit your things that you have, that analog, that will need to be you know, patched around. And then go get your bay and wire it in accordingly. <laughs>